Hi, I'm Susan Bowerman, registered dietitian. If you've never had a cucumber salad, you might be surprised at how good it can be. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a quick and delicious cucumber salad with just a few ingredients. Not only does it taste great, but this cucumber salad is practically calorie free and it stays nice and crispy for a few days in the refrigerator if you don't eat it all up the first day. So let's show you how to do it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with four large cucumbers. Now I'm using regular cucumbers. If you want to, you can use the Persian variety. These are smaller and these don't usually require peeling because the peels are kind of thin. But I'm gonna go ahead and peel mine. So to get started, I'm just gonna cut the ends off of my cucumber. And rather than peeling the entire thing, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda of peel it in little stripes. And the reason I do that is because there's some flavor in the skin. And also, it makes your salad really pretty when you're done. So just like that. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice my cucumber thinly. Now you have a couple choices here. You can do it with a knife if you want to, but it's kind of tedious because you wanna get this really thinly. So you might look to see if your box grater that you have at home has one of these handy slicing tools on the side. These are great. And I'm just gonna put it right here into the bowl. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start slicing my cucumbers. And if you look at it, you can see I'm getting some nice thin slices. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel and slice my four cucumbers. Okay, so now, so I've got all my cucumbers sliced. And at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some veggies and some herbs. Now the main thing here is if you're gonna add additional vegetables to your cucumber salad, that you wanna make sure that you cut them just as thinly as you did the cucumbers. That way they'll all kind of have the same texture. So what I'm gonna add here is I'm gonna just use some very thinly sliced red onion. I like the combination of the red onion with the cucumber, it's pretty. And then for my herb, I'm gonna go ahead and use just some cilantro. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and put the dressing on the salad. And this is really easy because the dressing doesn't have to be mixed ahead of time. You can just put all the ingredients on top and toss it because it's gonna go into the refrigerator. So there's basically four parts to my dressing. I'm gonna use something acid, I'm gonna use something sweet, I'm gonna use something salty, and I'm gonna use something a little bit peppery. And that's one of the reasons that the salad is so good is because you're stimulating all your taste buds with all of these flavors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add for my sour or my tart is I'm gonna use lime juice. And by the way, if you wanna see this entire recipe, you can go to discovergoodnutrition.com and we'll post the amounts on there. And then for my sweet, I'm gonna just use a little bit of agave syrup. For my salt, I'm just using regular old table salt. And for my heat, I'm gonna use red pepper flakes. These are just some dried red pepper flakes. You can use as much or as little as you want, but I'll just caution you, these things are pretty hot. So I'm gonna go a little bit easy. If you like things a little spicy, you can put some more on there. And that's it. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna to toss this gently together just to kind of get the flavors to blend before I put it in the refrigerator. And what you're gonna see is that when it sits in the fridge for about 30 minutes or so, not only is this gonna allow the flavors to blend, but it's gonna give up a little bit of liquid and it'll be a little bit easier also to toss before you serve it. So I'm just gonna cover up my cucumber salad and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes. It can stay longer, that's fine. And this is gonna give the flavors a chance to blend and you're also gonna see that the cucumbers are gonna give up quite a bit of liquid. So here's my salad. I made this one previously. And if you take a look at it, you can see there's quite a bit of liquid in the bowl. And the cucumbers themselves, they're still crispy. They've gotten a little bit softer and everything's blended up really nicely, but they've still got a nice crunch to them and they're gonna be so good. And they can stay like this in the refrigerator for a few days, which is great. There are all kinds of variations you can do. Remember, I only had four ingredients. I had something acid, something sweet, something salty, and something spicy. So for the acid, I use lime juice, but you could use lemon juice, you could use rice vinegar, tarragon vinegar, 
distilled regular old white vinegar if you want to. You can even use balsamic vinegar. It's fine, it tastes really good. Just know that it's gonna turn your cucumber salad a little bit dark. The next component was the sweet component. I used agave syrup, but you could use white sugar, brown sugar, you could use maple syrup, or if you wanna go completely sugar-free, you can do that too and use sweetener. The third component I used was the salt. I just used regular table salt, but if you're feeling adventurous, you can use soy sauce, or you can even use some fish sauce, which is salty and it's very common in Thai cooking. It tastes delicious with the cucumbers. And then lastly, I used the pepper. I used just the red pepper flakes. They're nice and spicy, but you can use ground white pepper, ground black pepper. If you like it really hot, you can use some cayenne pepper, or you could even use some hot pepper sauce like Tabasco. The other variation is what else you add in with your cucumbers. I just added in some sliced purple onions, but the other vegetables that you could put in here would be things like grated carrots. That's beautiful in this salad. Or you could slice very thinly some red peppers or some yellow peppers would be delicious in here. And then finally with your herbs, I use cilantro, but dill is a natural with cucumbers. And the other one that's very good in this dish would be parsley. All right, so now you've got your salad made, what are you gonna do with it? Well, in our house, we usually just use it as a side dish. The other thing I like to do with it sometimes is I just take a big scoop of it like this and I'll just put it on top of my green salad when I'm getting ready to toss it. And I just find that I don't even really have to use any additional dressing. It just adds so much flavor to my salad. The other way that it's delicious is to use it almost like a salsa on top of some grilled chicken. And the other way that it's also very, very good is to use it in soft tacos. If I'm making grilled fish tacos, I just tuck a little of that cucumber salad in there with the uh, fish and inside of my tortilla. It's very, very good. Cucumbers have small amounts of vitamins and minerals, but they're nearly all water, so the nutrient values aren't all that high. On the other hand, one cup of cucumber slices has about 15 calories, and since I've added no fat to my salad and only a small amount of sweetener, that's about how many calories are in the salad, too. It's great to have something to eat that's practically calorie-free, and since this salad keeps so well, you might want to do what I do. Make a lot so you'll have it to eat for a few days. I'm always happy to have it to snack on when I'm craving something crunchy and salty since it's a lot healthier than chips.